Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. I'm bringing you, uh, that's the wrong, oh, that's the right one. A bottle of Nulu. Got whiplash. A gift from magnificent bastard Tristan Elliott. Tristan Elliott, you magnificent bastard. Okay, Nulu. I've never heard of Nulu. Nulu, they are a distillery um, in Louisville, Kentucky. That's they were pretty famous for like tracking down barrels for people and then bottling them. Oh, like cool. private barrel picks yeah, yeah. that they didn't make but they they sourced really well. Oh, and they're yeah. transparent about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you want something interesting? We'll find it for you, bring it, and then we'll bottle it for you. Ooh. This is one uh, five-year-old, yeah. one barrel, barrel 65. Yes. The Golden Grills barrel. Oh, wait. Golden it's Grills, it's a pun. Golden yeah. Grills, yeah. And, um, it's a certain generation that would get the, yeah, right? get the joke. The this is MGP, so this is five-year-old MGP. Okay. Now, we don't know what the recipe is, I can tell you that we're about to get two barrels of five-year-old MGP at our barrel house. I, I enjoy watching you struggle with the wax. Well, I just needed to get past that one no. little. Oh, wait, did you did you yeah. do it in record time? Yeah. Didn't even have to pull out the knife? No, I knew it was going to be okay because I just needed to get past that one little well, edge. You're still, not, you're still not across the finish line yet. Yeah, I am. No. I haven't opened the cork yet. I'm saying, but, though. I'm saying. But the sealant is this, off. This is, uh, this is, okay, you got it. <laughs> Very disappointing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You not failing is <laughs> disappointing to me. Failure is the most valuable thing in people's lives. They should embrace it. You learn a lot more. Yeah. Also, better click YouTube yeah, metrics. Actually. <laughs> Good for views. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Prohibition Craft Spirits Distilling. Okay. So this uh, is this. How is this standard that a you know an MGP that anybody can get other than it being cask and five years old? It's it's not. It's just a specific okay. barrel. But we know from sourcing MGP you find how variations. different the barrels can be. Yeah, especially with like an, an A B type of comparison. Oh yeah, totally different. Yeah, it was, it was with even the same mash bill, same distillery, same year, blah blah blah. You same can find brand. like fifteen to twenty percent variation from barrel to barrel. So yeah. single barrels are really interesting to explore, especially if you love what a certain distillery is making. Yeah, and we love MGP. <laughs> yeah, you just get different angles on that whiskey yeah. that you already know that you like, but yep. you're gonna emphasize some things, pull back on other flavors. This one's dry smelling. It is a bit. Dry and, and very wood heavy and yeah, dusty. and like um, some dry crunchy leaves in the fall. Yeah, corn nuts. Plain original flavored corn nuts. Yeah, a bit. Just the salted ones. Yeah. Yeah, a little corn nutty, right? Yeah, yeah. That was a way to make enemies in a, on a road trip. Corn Open nuts. a bag of corn nuts in the car. <laughs> God, they smell every, worse than Funyuns. I don't think I've done more than like one or two road trips. Oh, okay. Yeah, was, and <laughs> I was talking about the road trip I had yesterday. Like the in college, it was me and my girlfriend. Oh, and then, oh you were talking about it. Yeah, yeah, okay, I was yeah, talking yeah. about somebody yesterday. Uh, and then we went to the coast, and we drag, drug along a mutual friend. But I had a Nissan 350Z, 1991 Nissan 350Z. Technically four seats. Oh yeah, but two door. But m the back of the driver's seat, right? And then the back of the seat behind me is right yeah. here. Oh yeah. So, and then the leg space is literally oh, yeah. that. And he was taller than me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so he was just folded in Did half. Did turn sideways most yeah. of the trip? Yeah, sideways folded in half the whole Yeah, <laughs> good night. Might as well put him in the trunk, yeah. give him a pillow. But they wanted, At least he could lay down. They wanted to take my car. Okay. Damn, damn though. Yeah. As it opens up, I'm getting a little more of a dark chocolate and oil note. Mm -hmm. I, I am pleased at how much, I think I've said this a couple times, but I am pleased at how much variation and how many layers you can find in MGP because mm -hmm. they're so big at this point. Yeah. They really could, when, once corporations reach a certain size, then they're kind of just inevitable. People are going to be buying no matter what because they don't have uh you know the, the budgetary ability to buy other stuff or they need something that's older or it's just more convenient for any number of reasons they could let quality slip and they would still be fine mm -hmm. but to date i don't ever see an mgp that's like wow this one's way off this yeah is... the worst i could say is they proofed it down too much and that's the and only that's, thing i've ever encountered well, and that's the distillery that's releasing it. yeah that's not and an that's MGP. on the mgp thing yeah oh whoa whoa did that get bitey it's definitely peppery. Ah, uh, a lot of pepper. Like, <coughs> stuck in the back of my throat. Pepper and oak. You can definitely tell this is a cask. Mm-hmm. And it's not sweet. 
It's really not. This is one I mean, of the least sweet MGPs. At the very end, it gets honey. Yeah. Uh, like honey to a black tea. Mm hmm. But that's at the very end. I get heat. Mm hmm. This texture is hot. And then a little bit of grassiness. And there is just a little flash of brown sugar. Mm hmm. But mostly it's the, the dry flavors. Wood oil, corn yeah. dust, the wood, the salt oak, almost. a little bit of grassiness, dried leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I actually Way am, to go, I'm actually more interested in this Nulu deal. Yeah. yeah. Where they hunt down single barrels. That's yeah, it's cool. No, we're we're, we're, well, no, we're, we're doing, doing that already. already. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like a nonprofit. We put the spotlight yeah. on other people. That's true, they're doing a good job. Other people, other people. Yeah. The craft way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the the printer's failing here, so hold on. Oh, it's my printer. I'm sorry. Ruchisms. Rugid Ruchid. Sure. Hey all MBs. Not long ago stumbled upon an article about roasted malts mm -hmm. they use for craft beer. Notice that some distilleries have been experimenting with it too. Does anyone know of any fairly accessible and reasonably priced whiskey that uses roasted malt? Thanks in advance. Is Andalusia doing roasted yeah, malt? Yeah, but they're not widely available. Westland is doing roasted malt. Oh, so try Westland. try Westland. As a matter of fact, every time I you get Westland. that note that you love, it's, a roasted malt. it's almost always roasted malt. Hey, let's roast some malt. Yeah, we yeah. can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or we can just buy roasted malt. Okay. But is it going to be well? Roasting malt is is a, like a real process. It's you got to sort of know what you're doing. I have some uh, and have the right equipment. I know some coffee people uh, over at the Summer Moon. I don't know if what the big dis there I might have, not be well, a big difference. Here's the thing: so they they do fire roasted coffee. Right. Right. And then um, somebody that knows somebody said, "Hey, we can get you access to do fire roasting your grains." Yeah. I don't know enough about roasted malts to right. know what the process is or how it would defer. If it delivers that nutty note that finishes with the coffee note, mm -hmm. we need to know everything about the yeah. roasted malts. I love that note. We have, uh, again, the printer, Apollo Tingen. Brianna's rising power has got Rex sweating <laughs> over potential coup. He has found fretting. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yes. This is they, uh, whoever this is has been putting poems at the bottom of every video, and I love them. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Love is there, them. Does this cut off again? Oh wait, it's <laughs> your freaking see. With salt on the wound, Daniel causes hurt by naming Rex as the doofus in a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was in an episode in May. <laughs> in a shirt. Yeah. It's like look at that guy yeah. wearing a shirt. In a shirt. Like a doofus. Like a doofus. <laughs> You know where I stole that from, I think? Huh. Like, I thought it was original. Yeah. But then, uh, not long ago, after I read this, it right. occurred to me where I had heard that phrase. Doofus in a shirt? No, no, no. I stole it from you. I'm just some dude in pants. Oh, in jeans. In jeans, remember? <laughs> like some dude. In jeans. In jeans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I think, where it, like, percolated from. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so... If you like MGP, this single barrel, I don't know how you're going to get your hands on it, but the yeah. single barrel is probably going to be the, the driest MGP that I think that I've had. Yep. Yeah, but it's still multi-layered, still a lot of stuff going on, which is always nice to be able to explore in a whiskey. Yep. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink with us.